Okay, so we were just talking about why Donald Trump was in Michigan today and what that means in terms of the path he's trying to follow to the White House, the Rust Belt path. And we told you there's a big problem for Donald Trump. There's two big problems. One, he's losing in the Rust Belt right now. But the second one is Donald Trump has trouble in the red states, the Romney states from 2012. Check this out. Let's take a look here at states that went for Romney in 2012 that Trump assumes he's going to be able to hold in 2016, but that right now he is in trouble. And let's highlight them for you. Starting in North Carolina, there have been polls out of North Carolina that show Hillary Clinton ahead or tied. Georgia, there is a poll out of Georgia today that has Hillary Clinton up by seven points. Georgia, a state that last voted for a Democrat back in 1990 with Bill Clinton. You could go to Arizona. There's a poll that has Trump up. There's a poll that has Clinton up. This is a state, if nothing else, that looks like it's in play. There was a poll, believe it or not, in Missouri. There was a poll that made Missouri look like it might be competitive. Some say Indiana could be competitive, maybe even a congressional district in Nebraska, the one around Omaha. But there is one absolutely shocking red state, Romney state, Republican state, that looks like it's in play this year. It's the state of Utah, Utah, which may be the single most Republican state in the country. How on earth could that one be in play? Well, let's show you. Let's take a look, first of all, at what the uh, battleground looks like in Utah right now. Here is a weird situation. This poll just came out. Donald Trump is leading, but with only 37% of the vote. Hillary Clinton, second place. The last time a Democrat carried Utah, 1964. LBJ, the libertarian, Gary Johnson. Look at this. This is probably his best state. He's at 16%. Other. 14%. You say, who could other be? It looks like all the candidates are up here. Do you know what this is? 14% of the respondents to this poll volunteered the name of Mitt Romney. They told the pollsters, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go right in Mitt Romney for president. That is the aversion to Donald Trump. That's how severe it is in Utah. 14% of the folks out there telling the pollsters, we're going to write in Mitt Romney. They didn't even have to be told it was an option. We have seen how bad Utah is for Donald Trump. We saw it back in the primary season. This was his single worst state. Look at this. Ted Cruz got nearly 70% of the vote. Donald Trump only 14% in the Utah Republican caucuses. Remember, this was the same day Donald Trump won Arizona. But he got absolutely crushed in Utah. This is a state. The story here, of course, is Donald Trump's relationship with Mormon voters. Utah is the heart of Mormon America, 60% of the population. Donald Trump has had severe trouble uh, winning over Mormon voters. And of course, a new wrinkle that's being introduced into this today. We mentioned this earlier. This man, you probably never heard of him before. You probably never seen him before. His name is Evan McMullen. He's a former House staffer, former CIA officer, and he said today he's going to run as a conservative alternative to Donald Trump. Now, Evan McMullen is a Mormon. He went to school in Utah. The campaign is going to be headquartered in Utah. He looks like he has a, a good shot to get on the ballot out there. This is going to take a very, very strange situation in Utah, and it's going to make it much stranger. Another candidate who could go out there and siphon off some of those votes. There's all sorts of possibilities here. There's a possibility that Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, could lose the state of Utah. That's shocking. There's the possibility Hillary Clinton, the Democrat, could win the state. That hasn't happened in more than half a century. There's a possibility a third party candidate could swoop in and win the state of Utah. We haven't seen a third party candidate win a state in a presidential election since all the way back in 1968. Donald Trump, he's aware he's got a problem in Utah. He's been trying to talk his way out of it. This is what he's been saying. And do I love the Mormons, okay? Do I love the Mormons? I have many friends that live in Salt Lake. I have a lot of friends. No, I have a lot of friends. By the way, Mitt Romney is not one of them. Did he choke? Did this guy choke? He's a choke artist. I can't believe. Are you sure he's a Mormon? Are we sure? He choked. He choked. It was so sad. Well, that was four days before the Utah, ca Utah caucuses. That's where Trump got absolutely clobbered. And joining us now is McKay Coppin, senior political writer at BuzzFeed News. McKay has written extensively on Donald Trump and the Mormon vote. McKay, I made my way back in, did not have time to get the jacket back I, on. You please. did a good job. Please don't take it personally. <laughs> I, I would normally dress up for you. Um, I know you do. I've heard a lot of theories about what it is that is turning off Mormon voters 
from Donald Trump. I'm curious, what do you think the answer is? Well, there's a number of things. The obvious ones are that his his whole lifestyle is com is anathema to the Mormon lifestyle. He's thrice married. He is profane. He's you know rude to people. It's just it's not the Mormon style. But the more interesting ones are that the things that rally uh, a lot of conservative voters, especially conservative Christians who would otherwise be repelled by Donald Trump, are immigration and uh, a lot the, his tough talk on Muslims. Both of those issues issues are, are things that don't work with Mormon voters, conservative Mormon voters. Uh, immigration, Mormons have been found to be twice as likely as evangelicals to say that they support more immigration to this country. Uh, when it comes to Muslims, they report by large numbers much uh, more warm feelings toward Muslims. They're against uh, the, his Muslim ban. Is that and, and, is and, part of that because of the history of Mormons yeah, yeah, in this, this country with discrimination? Totally. And I actually just talked to Evan McMullen, the candidate you mentioned, just right before I came here. I was interviewing him and he he laid that out he said he's especially troubled by the the talk about Muslims because if you look back at the history of the Mormon Church there's a lot of government sponsored persecution of early Mormons and he's afraid that when you see a demagogic president uh, or presidential candidate come up and talk about Muslims the way he does you have a, a lot of Mormons have flashbacks to, to their face early history so, so we put the poll up and I, I've never seen something like this I can remember in a presidential race where uh, you got Trump you got Clinton but you also have Gary Johnson getting yep. votes you have this new guy, Evan McMullen, who could get votes. You have Mitt Romney. You have 14% of respondents <laughs> in this poll saying, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to write in yeah. Mitt Romney's name. That suggests a couple things to me, but one of them is if Mitt Romney chooses to weigh in on this yes. race, he could swing Utah. Now, Mitt Romney has said already that he is looking at the libertarian ticket. He's a big fan of Bill Weld, who's the running mate of Gary Johnson, of course. Uh, and, and I will tell you that people in Evan McMullen's campaign just told me that they are plugged into the Romney donor network. A lot of disaffected Mormon donors there and fundraisers, wealthy Mormons, who are saying that they want to support this new bid. They think he's very interesting and they don't want to, they're not going to support Trump. So that is another way into kind of the Mormon uh, audience that, that Romney has rallied obviously over the last eight or ten years now. I guess one of the, the, the theories though of, of Evan McMullen of what effect his entry into the race could have though is it jumbles it up so much you got some conservatives who are gonna uh, you know who are gonna vote for the libertarian you got some yeah. who vote for him maybe some writing in Romney it jumbles it up so much it actually helps Trump that he could maybe win with 35 percent right and one of the first reactions I heard from people on the ground in Utah is that this might actually not hurt Trump as much as it hurts Gary Johnson and, and one one remarkable thing I think we just need to step back here. Both Gary Johnson's campaign and Evan McMullen's campaign are headquartered in Salt Lake City. Utah has not been a battleground state in 50 some years. And now we see two presidential third party candidates uh, headquartering their campaign there. That says something about the state, but it could end up helping Trump. Only time will tell, obviously. All right, McKay Coppins from BuzzFeed, expert on all things Utah politics. Right. Love to have you right. off. Perfect, <laughs> perfect guest for this. Appreciate that, McKay. And still ahead, how Donald Trump's recent fundraising numbers are putting a real damper on Hillary Clinton's vacation plan. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.